With these three methods, you should be able to fix FL Studio, get up and running and get back to making your beats, making your music and get to it. If you don't watch this video, God knows <laughs> what's going to happen to you, okay? Yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. You're probably not because you're watching this video on how to fix FL Studio with this error. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing three different methods that you can use in order to fix this error. So make sure to stick through to the end and try all the methods. If one doesn't work, try the other one. If that doesn't work, try the other one. If all three don't work, contact FL Studio support and hope for the best basically. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now, my question of the day is what was you doing when you got this error? Let me know, comment section down below. Me personally, I had, I think I just created a beat and I closed down FL Studio, I opened up Studio One, and then I was, you know, I was walking through a song in there, and I came back to FL Studio to make another beat, and then all of a sudden, I got this FL Studio not working error, okay? So you've probably seen it before. I think that the thing, the actual error message just says FL Studio not working, and there are a few ways to deal with this. Now, the first way is one that I found online. It's also hosted by, it's also in a blog post by ImageLine. So we'll deal with that first. The second way is, well, we'll get into that. So let's deal with the first way. So the first way is to reset your settings, okay? In order to do this, I'm gonna be showing you exactly where you need to go. So here is my computer. You wanna go to my PC, then go to your local disk then go to program files then go to image line then go to shared then go to start then fl studio and then here double click this to reset your settings obviously i'm not going to do that now because i don't want to reset my settings again but the thing is i tried this it didn't work yeah i still was trying to open fl studio it still was not working for me now the second thing you can try is basically to just open up a different project in FL Studio or open up FL Studio with a different template. Depending on how you're using FL Studio, you may have a template already or you may be opening up a project that is using a plugin that is crashing your system. Now, in order to figure this out, what I suggest you do is try and open up FL Studio and look on the top left-hand side up here and see what plugin it's loading when it crashes and then open it up a few more times. If it keeps on crashing on the exact same plugin, then that's a problem. You need to uninstall that plugin, maybe reinstall it, maybe just never install it in the first place. But th that's something that needs to be fixed. You you've, identi you've identified the problem there. Now, personally, I use my either guitar trap beat mixing template or my R&B trap beat mixing template. Both you can grab down below, go to jcartarray.com forward slash R&B trap for the R&B Trap one or Guitar Trap FL for the Guitar Trap one. I'll leave the links down below. Well, I'll leave link, links to one. You can find my store <laughs> through that. But basically, with my template, all I've got on the, mixer, on the mixer is I've got Ozone. So that's something that uses a lot of CPU. But other than that, I've just got EQ. So it's just a bunch of EQing. I've got Seventh Heaven over here, which you know, might crash my system, but it usually doesn't. Then we've got Sound Goodizer and mainly just EQing. We've got a few fruity delay, but as you can see, it's not super intensive. I don't have a lot of plugins that need to load before my template loads or before the project loads. So it makes it a lot easier to load into FL Studio. So if you don't have your own template, you can grab mine or you can use the basic template that basically has nothing in there or you can open a project that, because you might not be able to get into FL Studio to change the template and all that sort of stuff. Watch my video on how to open FL Studio with a template as well if you want to learn how to do that. But, well, I can quickly show you. Just go to, so you go to general and then down here, you can pick the template that opens when you actually open FL Studio. And as you can see, I'm using my guitar trap beat mixing template. But 
if you can't get into FL Studio, then another solution you could use is just opening up a project that doesn't have much going on. So maybe a project you just started, a project where you're not using a bunch of plugins yet, and that might give you some chance to get into FL Studio without it crashing. Now, how did I personally fix my FL Studio? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Now, instead of going to, you know, all the way here and resetting my settings, all you need to do is come back one spot so instead of going here you want to go to program files image line shared then start and then here's where you want to be and all i did was i opened the 32-bit version of fl studio so do this open the 32-bit version of fl studio and even if you're on you know a 64-bit computer or whatnot it will still work on your device so don't worry about that but i tried to open the 32-bit and lo and behold <laughs> it opened yeah and then after that i was like wow didn't expect that why is that opening i can't explain why and then i tried to open the main fl studio the 64-bit version and it worked after all that like it just wasn't working for some time for no reason i tried to open it a bunch of times i was resetting settings resetting my computer well not resetting but restarting my computer i thought i might have to reinstall windows again which is the worst thing but i had to do that last time fl studio and camtasia wasn't working but all i had to do was open up my 32-bit version of fl studio and it just did something that fixed everything and that opened up the normal version and i was able to get in there so that is what i suggest you to try asap opening the F like the 32-bit version then opening the 64-bit version and the reason why i would suggest you to do this first is because this way you don't lose any of your settings okay and you know the other method you might it might still not work because i was trying to open up other projects and that sort of stuff and it just wasn't working for me but this is definitely what works so i highly suggest you try this out uh it's a very easy solution it makes no sense i have no idea why this worked but it worked for me so i'm sharing that with you okay now if you got any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make please let me know in the comment section down below unfortunately if you've got more questions about how to fix fl studio i probably won't have the answer so i suggest you go to fl studio support go to image line support and post in the forums if all these methods still don't work for you then that's probably what you need to do however if you've got any other questions any other tutorials you want me to make let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing and i'll see you there peace out